Y'all all probably think the Dion thing's gonna work. Warren's been down with Dion in Colorado. You've seen it all firsthand. I've been through it to a lesser level, to a far lesser level, but yeah, had a lot of success. Gave y'all almost one. So wait a no, minute. No, no, I'm talking about as a journalist. I'm a Hall of Fame journalist, <laughs> sports journalist. I'm a Hall of Fame sports journalist. They got one of those? Yeah, 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 they do. Yeah, 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 they do. Yeah. And, 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 and so here we go again, back with another one. Welcome to the Dark Times channel. And before I get started, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button for me. And if you're not new to the channel and you enjoy the content so far in this channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button for me as well. And so I did a video not too long ago chiming in on Jason Whitlock, hating on Deion Sanders, and tap dancing for you know who. And that's nothing new for Jason Whitlock. Jason Whitlock has made a career out of tap dancing ton of criticism that you have towards black athletes anytime you address the modern athlete you leave the white light athlete up out of these opinions i could go down a whole list again I, before kobe's death i was talking about him and what great things i thought he was doing kobe bryant the most fraudulent superstar celebrity athlete we have ever seen jason woodlock as somebody that has made a career and going out of his way to take shots at black men and women within the media. And that's his whole career in a nutshell. That's his whole MO, that's his whole get down. But this latest one, his latest attempt to tap dance for butter biscuits. This one may take the cake. Sanders, Sanders will be that. We won game. No, no, no. He won at Jackson State, wait, didn't he? Wait, wait, let me let, let me ask let me ask Come you a now. question before, you know, you go to Brett and then you end up with me about Dion. What is it about Dion besides him being a great player that makes you doubt that he can arrogance? Arrogance. <laughs> arrogance. The male jealousy right there. No, 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 no. And so shout out to Warren Sapp. Warren Sapp hit the nail on the head. Male jealousy. He got asked straight up. What is it about Dion Sanders that makes you think he won't be a great coach? And he replied with arrogance. You know how many great head coaches get accused of being arrogant? Bill Belichick, Nick Saban, to name a few. Being arrogant as a coach or having a level of arrogance as a coach is almost a prerequisite. You don't get to that level of coaching or playing or almost any field, any professional field without having a level of arrogance. Most doctors that I know have a level of arrogance. Most professors that I know have a level of arrogance. And so when Jason Whitlock says that you got to take it with a grain of salt, that's almost a prerequisite. Every coach has that. At that level, every coach has a little bit of that. And pay attention to this next clip. This next clip is of Brett Favre, of all people. Even Brett Favre is trying to tell Jason Whitlock that he doesn't know what he's talking about and that Deion Sanders can be a great coach at the next level. And pay attention to how Jason Whitlock is going to question Deion Sanders' Christianity. He's going to not only question Deion Sanders as a head coach, but he's going to directly call out Deion Sanders' level of Christianity. Getting back to Deion, I, I think Deion's at a place in his life where he's ready to accept that role. Absolutely. He's a marketing machine. There's no question about it. Uh, you can't fault him for that. From day one, back in the day, maybe, maybe he... he when he was drafted and he was playing baseball and football, <laughs> he, was, he was feeling it. And it was all because of him. Now he gives the glory to God. And himself. Well, I mean, he, he, I think he deserves some. I don't. Not as a Christian. I can, I can, well, we can, and, I, and we can argue this, uh, you know, uh, at what level a Christian I've is. I've accomplished, I, again, and he's not at a very high level. I've accomplished, in the sports writing deal, I've accomplished a lot. It has nothing to do with me, nothing. Anything you accomplish on the football, you may not know it, but you, one day you'll find out it didn't have nothing to do with you, 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 you. This, yeah, is, for I mean, it, this is for believers, if you're a believer. And, and it's just factual. It, it, and so I don't think, Dion doesn't realize that. And I just think at our age- It has nothing to do with this. It's already written, you just gotta live it? No, it's not written, but dude, I'm so flawed. This clip right here should let you know everything you need to know about Jason Whitlock. This is somebody that doesn't even know a Deion Sanders. This is somebody that is allegedly turned off by the arrogance and confidence of a Deion Sanders, saying that Deion Sanders doesn't give enough glory to God. 
And since when has Jason Whitlock ever applied that barometer to any other coach? I'm wondering. Because it hasn't happened. Like I said, Jason Woodlock will always come up with an excuse to attack a so-called black man. Any chance he gets, he has no shame about it. And in this instance, he's using Christianity. He's faking the funk with Christianity. He's trying to say he's not a real Christian and that's gonna be his downfall. And talking to three legendary Hall of Famers, by the way, that are telling him the complete opposite. The irony of an out of shape, overweight, washed up, has been hack of a reporter. The arrogance telling three Hall of Famers that their level of success in the game of football had nothing to do with them. And I can't stand when people try to bring up sports and God. I don't think an individual looking down at you from the heavens cares a great deal about whether or not who's scoring touchdowns on Sunday. I would hope, I would pray that there's more pressing concerns than who's scoring touchdowns and getting sacks on the field. He's out there playing Madden with people's lives. Is that what Jason Wicklock is trying to say? That God is up there playing Madden? And these players have little control as to what happens? And so Jason Wicklock has no shame. He has no shame. He's somebody who's shameless. He can't be shamed. And I think that's something that he would even agree to. He has no shame. He'll say and do anything. And using Christianity is a common theme that I noticed with a lot of these so-called black conservatives. Whether it's Candace Owens or a Jesse Lee Peterson, or in this case, a Jason Whitlock, they always like to use and justify their level of bootlicking with Christianity. <laughs> I feel like that's the easy route to go for a lot of them. That's a common theme with them. And shout out to Warren Sapp. Warren Sapp is somebody that has spent time in Colorado with Dion. He's somebody that has been on that field with those kids and been working with those kids. And so Warren Sapp is somebody that knows the kind of work that Deion Sanders is putting in up there. And Warren Sapp is somebody that has never been shy with his words. And so he has to check Whitlock here and kind of put him in his place for a second. You, you make your own, and it's called idolatry. You make your own self and I. I've been through it to a lesser level, to a far lesser level, but yeah, had a lot of I success. Gave almost one. So wait no, a minute. No, wait, no, wait, I'm wait, talking wait, about as a journalist, oh. as a journalist. I'm just checking. I'm a Hall of Fame journalist, <laughs> sports journalist. I'm a Hall of Fame sports journalist. They got one of those? Yeah, 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 they do. Yeah, 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 they do. <laughs> I'm glad that Warren Sapp was able to kind of check him for a little bit. Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame for what? Boot licking and eating snacks? You see how Warren Sapp was looking? Even the people in Jason Woodlock's own studio were laughing at him. Journalist, sports journalist. I'm a Hall of Fame sports journalist. They got one of those? Yeah, 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 they do. Yeah, 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 they do. They were like, what are you talking about? Hall of Fame. And so when Warren Sapp spoke earlier about male jealousy, that's exactly what that was and that's exactly what this is you're talking about somebody that played college football and never made it to the professionals never made it to the pros and this is somebody that probably still has a lot of vitriol at some of those athletes that were able to make it to the next level and he never got over it and that's probably part of the reason why he's able to go after all these different black athletes and entertainers because in his mind, he probably believes that he was good enough to make it on the next level. And so he's somebody that's gonna get his any way he can, by any means necessary. If it means tap dancing, then so be it. This is somebody, like I said, that's gonna do and say anything. But it's a new day and it's a new media. We finally got people to call out this kind of bug dancing behavior. And so that's going to be a wrap for this one. Definitely chime in in the comment section. Let me know how y'all feel about your boy Jason Woodlock and Warren Sapp's exchange. And make sure you go ahead and hit that like button for me also. And as usual, peace and chaos. <laughs>